calling the Human Rights Commission meeting order at 637 in pursuit to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021. This meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access this meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. No in-person attendance of meetings of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. And then I will we'll do a roll call. So I will start off with Erica. Here. Cedric. Here. Liz. Present here. And then I myself fill up there here and then with two absentees. Then next it looks like we have public comment. We have anybody from the public in the waiting room wanting to speak. Now is your time. Yep, looks like she doesn't want to speak today. Okay. Then we will go on to any Human Rights Commission members' reports. I don't think Sid usually does a housing report, but I don't know if anybody else has anything. And I'll just say when he does that, it's always on the agenda below. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, you want to kick off actions. Yep. yep. So the first item on our actions and discussion is support letter process. So that came about when I asked the group if they wanted to um, create a letter or a statement in regards to supporting Ukraine. And Sid had said in the past when he'd asked about um, supportment for other countries we'll say that were um, black or brown skinned, that he was told no. And so that was probably before my time, but I wanted to have this group just have a set process so that that doesn't happen because we can't just support some without supporting all, right? Um, so I just wanted the group to kind of take a vote maybe and, and uh, agree or disagree to support all. Right, I'm totally in favor for definitely supporting all and not just picking and choosing what countries. Anybody else? I second that. Oh, can we, if, if that's, can we make the motion a little more Oh, okay. piece together and let's state that it's a motion. And so the way that process is going to work is you're going to call the motion or someone will call the motion. Someone will second. It'll open up for discussion. If there's no discussion, then we uh, take that final vote on it and it passes. Okay. Then I will motion that the Amherst Human Rights Commission will support any country in need that will <laughs> I don't know how to word that that just any country that needs help or needs recognition in a time of their crisis how about HRC will support any country in need of support there we go and then Erica I second that And so I have a question. What exactly does that mean? We're writing a statement about it. We're gonna to try to raise funds for them. Um, um, and what are the parameters that we would say, wait a minute, we need to rethink this. Not that I'm not in favor of Ukraine. Those are good points. I would say definitely starting out with a letter of support, like having an acknowledgement that we kind of see what's going on. Um, I don't know, I don't know the ins and outs of 
city funds, would there be a way, Jen, that maybe it could be funds being risen for this issue? I think that if that's how you wanted to, that you could do things like that or hold different kinds of fundraisers as the commission, but I can, I will check in to confirm that and send you guys an email tomorrow. Um, but I think it's a valid point and I would, yeah. so maybe we could, because the motion hasn't been voted on, we could say HRC will support any country in need of support by a letter of support to start? I don't know. That's well, a lot of support could, right there. Well, we could also say that the HRC is, um, oh, how was I, I just said, will acknowledge any country in need of, um, oh, what can I, how do I, I had it in my head. We'll do written support make a verbal a written statement in support of any country that may be in crisis or something like that um and do we want to say country i mean i guess like we did one for george floyd and that was the country here us i mean are you looking at it so when you say country um country person state individual um, I don't know. So how about HRC will acknowledge any crisis Hello. that is part of the human rights, right? Yeah, any, hum any crisis humanitarian, any humanitarian crisis. that occurs regardless of, well, I think you can just say that any. I think it should be written acknowledgement. HRC will create a written acknowledgement for any humanitarian crisis worldwide. Sounds better to me. No. Yeah. I'll be thinking of something different to say and bring it back up next time. <laughs> right. Um, it's on their toes. <laughs> okay. I did so, see a hand go up. Did anybody have anything else to add in while we were talking? I saw something on my screen that came up. Um so Liz, do you want to state that? again okay what did you write <laughs> i'll share my screen so you can okay. see it yes please and now i gotta scroll up i highlighted it in yellow and hsc I'll... will create a written acknowledgement for any humanitarian crisis worldwide Um, I like what it says. I just don't like the wording. The okay. wording is bad for me, but we can leave it there for now and work on it. But we just want to make sure that we acknowledge um, when um, humanitarian areas come up that are not good. Yes. You could say HRC will support worldwide humanitarian crises by letter of support at minimum. I don't know. Well, you said support twice. Yeah. Okay, we'll leave it as is. Somebody needs to second it. HRC will create a written acknowledgement of support for any humanitarian crisis worldwide. So acknowledge... HRC will create a written acknowledgement for support for 
Thanks for supporting any for supporting any humanitarian crises worldwide. That make that says you don't have to have capital acknowledgement either. I know. Well, that started off as a capital sentence. I mean, as the beginning of the sentence at uh -huh. one point. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes more sense to me right now anyway. Okay, so uh, we need someone to second it. I'll second it. And then Philip, you need to open it up for comments. Okay, open it up for any other comments on this motion. No comments, then we will go to a vote. So I'll just go on the order of my screen. Erica? I agree. What was, how did you say that? I support it. I second. I hear you, hear you. What? Yeah. Oh, yes. Just say this, yes or no. Yes. Yes. Cedric? Yes. Liz? Yes. And I myself am yes with two absentees. I didn't go first. You spelled that wrong. I'm going to stop share now. All right. So, um, do you guys want to create that letter now? Or it, you had a statement, Philip that you oh, had sent me a while ago. That was a while ago. I even forgot what I put in that statement now. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Here, John, I just found it. I forwarded it to you. I'm on my phone, so it won't let me pull it up, even if you uh, try. Um, the statement of support the Amherst Human Rights Commission acknowledges the Russian invasion of Ukraine yep. as a human rights issue. I'll share. Uh, Oh, I'm all locked in. Does that sound good for folks? Are you, yes. I think that's excellent. Good job. Good luck, good job, high five. Well, thank you. So then would I put that to a vote, Jen, or is that? You should. It's a decision. Okay. Let me get back to my uh, minutes here. Right. Well, then I will motion the statement, and then we will need a second. Second. And opening up for discussion. Well, no, I think your motion needs to say a little bit like, what it approved, is <laughs> approved to use the letter of support okay <laughs> all right then i will motion to use the letter of support for ukraine from ukraine drafted or written by written by me i always feel so weird saying philip and talking to myself in the third person. <laughs> and seconded? I did.
and open for discussion. There's no discussion. Oh, I do have a discussion question. So when we draft these letters of support, where exactly do they go? Do they go on our, our official record? Do they go to the town council so that the town council knows that we're in support? Uh, they go on the web page, HRC web page, and I will okay. send it out on the Facebook page. Okay, thanks. So then I would say further discussion. Any further discussion? No, then it looks like we will take it to a vote. Erica? Yes. Cedric? Yes. Liz? Yes. And yes for me and with two absentees. All right. Whew, we got that stuff done. I'll work on that tomorrow for everyone. All right. And next we have the HRC collaboration with Julius Ford slash Harriet Tubman Healthy Living Community. Yep. So the um, Julius Ford Harriet Tubman Healthy Living Community, which is actually Sid's sister is a member, um, came to me and asked for you know, if we could kind of, if I could kind of help them. And I thought that this would be a really good thing for the HRC to collaborate with. So I um, included the H, so the HRC is now collaborating with them. And really what's gonna happen is on May 7th, they are having a uh, event at Mill River, um, taking over the whole court. And it's really just to celebrate their uh, Julius Ford, they will also recognize any seniors and I thought it would be a good time to have the Youth Hero Awards. So if folks would like to have the Youth Hero Awards, I mean, I think May 7th would be best instead of us trying to do one thing and then try to have them at another event. And the Julius Ford Foundation is fine with that. So does everybody know who Julius Ford is or was? I will acknowledge that I do not. So Julius Ford um, was is was married to Deborah Ferreira, who is Sid's wife, and he, I mean Sid's sister. <laughs> And he was an integral part of the community as far as young men. He and another group of young men were uh, workers at the Men's Resource Center, took on the ABC boys and some other young men under their tutelage in order for them to be better African-American, Black, Latino, BIPOC men in the community. Um, he did a lot of things going uh, towards um, healthy lifestyle, you know, a lot of hikes, a lot of nature walks, things like that. And unfortunately, when his son Phoenix, who is now a senior at Amherst Regional, and he's got a son, um, why am I blanking on his name? Onyx. Onyx at the time was six weeks. Phoenix was six years, almost six years old when Julius had a heart attack and died. So um, from that, uh, Deborah and uh, the group of people that he was with um, still continue to do healthy living activities with the um, students and people um, in the community. And um, yeah, Sid probably could tell you a little more, but yeah. This is, and this is uh, specifically geared to BIPOC community members. And they really, um, institutionalized within their group, the community lifestyle, where the kids all kind of grew up together because they attended these, um, the different meetings and events that this group had. And, you know, so everybody has bonded. And it's really one of those things where people lean on each other in a time of need. So 
Um, you're right, Sid could probably do a better job. And thank you, Liz, because sometimes I just assume everybody knows what I'm talking about. So thank you for taking that time out to explain that. Yes, um, thank you, Liz. And so I thought this would be a great place for the HRC. So they were coming to asking for me to help support them in different ways. And it just seems like it would be better for the HRC to support it. And, um, you know, we just helped by that happening. We've kind of waived some of the fees that are associated with the different things that they're trying to do. Um, and we also just, it kind of just gives me the ability to take on the stuff so that they don't have to deal with the town so much, which gets, you know, can be confusing when you're not in the municipal world. So, um, and then I wanted to know if folks thought that that was a good time to have the Youth Hero Awards because the Julius Ford uh, community said that they would be okay with that. They're doing an award ceremony for their seniors and they have one individual who's receiving their doctorate and they wanted to acknowledge them. And it's also the day before Mother's Day, so they would do an acknowledgement for Mother's Day. Um, the, you know, the, the folks from the young versus old basketball team are involved. So it's really coming together as like a, a larger community event. There'll be food for purchase and they'll have activities for the kids. So exactly what is it that they want in our support just to help out with programming or they want us to help out with food? Do they want us to help out with awards? I mean, if we're doing our awards on that night, uh, that day, in which I will not be there, unfortunately, um, what is it that they need specifically from us? Yeah, and it's so, going to be just a huge collaboration. We're going to do our part. They're going to do their part, and we're going to be bonding together to do things together. Yes, and at this point, I asked. They don't have it mapped out exactly who's doing what because they're still at the brainstorming part, and so um, they. When I asked that question, the response was they're not sure how they want the HRC members to support, you know, at the event necessarily quite yet or for the event. Um, so. So if we are going to do our youth awards, we need to get on the stick because it's middle of yes. March. And we have what, five weeks? To so get what I was, nominations and get what I was gonna say say is that if you know with everyone's a-okay I will send out and update the letter that we typically use year to year or no we have a new letter that we used last year but update it and then send that out to the schools and the folks at the Julius Ford Harriet Tubman Healthy Living Community um, and local churches to see um, who nominates and and have that wrapped up. And then as per usual, I'll go get the gifts and create nice little certificates and stuff like that. Sound good? Okay. Sounds good to me. So the HRC, oh, go You're ahead. Done. I was gonna say, let me know what you need to, since I won't be there that day, you know, I do all kinds of behind the scenes stuff. So if you need me to help go shopping and pick up stuff and order food and all of that, please let me know. Mm -hmm. Is the hero event the thing we did at um, Mill River? Yeah. Awards. Yeah. And um, so I know for food that they're gonna have, they're looking for BIPOC, BIPOC businesses to come and sell food. And they're just trying to do things, you know, it's always really hard when you try to do free food because with free food, it tends to go really quick. And then people who come in the later part aren't, there's no food for them. Um, so they will be selling food. All activities will be free otherwise though. And um, that way we're supporting our businesses. It was a little hard to ask the businesses um, who are recovering from COVID to donate food. So 
they would like it to be sold. And then um, my guess is there'll be a few businesses that say, you know, we don't really have the staffing for it, but we will donate. And then that, that feels a little bit different because it's not us asking, they're volunteering to do that in a way to be productive. Um, so I will get is on that tomorrow. Talking, is it, um, since they don't have everything all laid out, is, it, is somebody gonna be attending meetings with them so that we can, so you will? All right, I just let me know if you need me to accompany you. I'm not used to anybody saying like, I'll help, but. <laughs> I said I would help. No, I'm yeah, joking, Erica. Help. This is probably the group that is volunteers to do actual the most um, boots on the ground work out of the commissions. So it's really nice. And thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Liz, you know, yes, I will ask. Is, all you have to do is ask and we'll like help you. You just got to tell us what you need help with. Because otherwise yeah. we're just sitting here hanging out. <laughs> I'm always volunteering. I'll just say, I'm, whatever you need me to do, call me. You know, I come to your office and we say, okay, we got to do this. I'm not going to be able to be doing that this day because I have track or whatever, but I will do this. So I'm willing to go to meetings. I'm willing to um, help you with any food runs or whatever. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And I, you know, We'll, give, we'll meet, I think, again next week. So I'll ask if they want folks from the HRC to attend. They meet at nine in the morning. So I know that's hard for some folks. Okay. Hello, the retired lady. The I know. Lady. I said some folks, right? That's why I said some folks. Um, but I also, you know, keep them abreast. So they're creating a flyer at this point, I think, like a save the date. Um, interesting. And so tomorrow I will send that letter to everyone just to make sure everybody's okay with it. So if you could respond to it as soon as possible, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, and uh, that's really, does anybody else have anything else about the Youth Hero Awards. Okay. Then on the agenda, well, the Youth Hero Awards was on next, but it seems like we covered that. We have HRC event calendar. Yep. So um, I'm going to share my calendar. My my screen again and um i have a list of events that are coming up in april and may and so what i really need to know is which one of these do we want to just kind of have an acknowledgement that goes out on facebook similar to international women's day or which ones you guys want to try and craft an event for um, and each year it can change, like next year, some of the ones that we did, we can not do next year or do the following year, the ones that we didn't do this year. So we've got a uh, community service month. And that seems like it's something we might wanna just make an acknowledgement for. Yeah, I think acknowledge it. And earth month. Um, so I will say that the community participation officers are hosting a town-wide cleanup day on April, nope, yep, April 30th. So it'd be great to see some folks out there. It'll be from about 10 to noon. That would be interesting. So we just go around and with our bags and pick up trash and mm -hmm. recycle, we will... recycle things and Mm -hmm. Nice. We give out gloves and the, what are those long, like, reach so things? Those things? Those reach things where you can pick up trash from. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
and mm -hmm. also uh, gloves, garbage bags, and the long reach things and water. Okay. If they're doing an event that day, then I think we should probably just acknowledge it and put on our Facebook kind of their event, just highlight. Absolutely. Uh, that sounds good to me. Um, Autism Awareness Month. Hmm. I know that the kids at the high school do a little, a lot of stuff around that. So I'm wondering if we could make a um, presence, at least be present at some of their events. And then what we can do to help support their events? Yeah, I would um, get a hold of Kathy Olson. And this is at the high school? Yeah. Um, let me try to get a hold of her tomorrow and get back to you. I have a meeting with um, the leadership team at the high school tomorrow, and I'll try to touch base with her then. I'm going to text Jonathan right now who can talk to her if you want, okay. so you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Is that okay? Sure. Look at that. Folks working together. That's what I like. <laughs> Uh, what about Arab American Heritage Month? That is so cool. I think that that one would be a lot very interesting, um, but I don't know that this year we have enough time to pull that off because I don't even know where to start with making connections with folks unless someone else has um, a little bit of has a you know a connect. I don't have any connections. Is that, a, is that another acknowledgement for this year? Yeah, I think so. yeah, that sounds I think, good. Yeah. And what's the last one? Celebrate Diversity Day. I think we could try and do something for that. What day is that? It's, it's, um, oh, I got to stop share because you don't want to see my craziness calendars. <laughs> Hey, Jen, I got a, I got a question while we're doing yeah. it. Oh my, this isn't on the thing on the agenda, but did we think of any figure out anything about Facebook? The Facebook, how to like one of us can post it or take over that? Yeah, so um, they do not want multiple people from out of the town posting on it, so I will be posting on it. Good, because I didn't want to do anything extra anyways. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. It's a month, so it's Celebrate Diversity Month. It's also the Tartan Scottish American Heritage Month. Um, but another interesting one that we might want to look at, it's also Youth Homeless Matters Day and Youth Homeless Matters Day acknowledged. So we could do an acknowledgement for Youth um, Homelessness Matters Day. April 7th is also International Day of Reflection on the Genocide in Rwanda. Um, so do you guys want me to, do you guys want to do acknowledgements for those? So what I'm going to ask is for once we get through this list that people kind of pick because I'll post whatever you guys give me. I just need some want you guys to help out with creating the actual post. Um, it's also National Day of Silence on the 24th. I don't really know what that one means, but, that, you know, basically be quiet. And then, so it says March 25th is International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery in the Transatlantic Slave Trade. 
he said. March he said 25th? March, like March 25th, yeah. I can do a quick post for that one if you guys want to acknowledge it. I think we should definitely acknowledge it. Say March through May. So 320, I mean, I have to write, I can't type this all out at the moment. Um, World Autism, we're going to the schools. Um, International Day of Reflection on Genocide in Rwanda. That looks like it's April 7th. And then the Youth Homeless Matter stays on the 20th. So let me go back here. Now I can share. Okay, um, I will gen create the post for the intern um, international the remembrance of slavery, and then April seventh. Uh, genocide. So um, does anybody want to create a post for International Day of Reflection on the genocide in Rwanda? Wait, does anybody even know what that might look like? It could just be words, like the Human Rights Commission just wants to acknowledge and support. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like a full blown out picture of something, but. I can do that. Perfect. Um, and then the 20th. Oh, so 420, um, the Youth Homelessness Matters Day. Does someone want to create a post for that? I can work on that. All right, since the Celebrate Diversity is a month long event, we could do something towards the end of April if that, if people, you know, wanna do that. I'm not sure what you wanna do for something like that. Are people interested in doing an event? Sorry, I wasn't listening because I was trying to do an email to Kathy Olson. What was the question? Are people interested in doing an event for Celebrate Diversity Month, which is in April, towards the end of April? <laughs> you didn't respond and you just put yourself on mute, Erica. <laughs> well, because I wasn't, I wanted to process before responding like what were you thinking about doing i guess i don't know 
I guess that's kind of on the table right now. I guess the first thing that comes to my mind as far as diversity, I'm a big food advocate. I don't know what town stuff is happening, but maybe we can have some type of pop book event. That's just spitballing, spitballing an idea that does not have to stick. I would say if we do that, let's do it at one of the pavilions at maybe Graf because it's easily accessible. Um, and then I have to check in. So one of the things that I've been finding out with events is all, all this inspections through the inspections department. But it turns out if I just get surf safe or safe surf, then I can be considered the event planner and then everything can fall underneath the event. And then we can avoid all of that would it help if I process. Am? You already are. And that is very helpful even for the event, uh, the Julius Ford Harriet Tubman collaboration. So that is fantastic. Um, I know, celebrate diversity just says food and dance and music. Right, like a party. <laughs> yeah. We could do something at Groff. Thoughts? Liz, Seti? When? Oh, well, we'll, it, we'll, we can determine the date now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, because my weekends are done because of track, so mm. that's why I'm asking. Said. Um, are we thinking like an event where it's kind of like the the heroes event? Um, how are we how are we blasting this out to the town? Uh -huh. Or I think that's or I think maybe that's after we say yes to this. I guess we can start thinking about that. Yeah, I, think I mean, then for upcoming future for sure. Though. Yeah, I think. Um, so we know the cleanup day is the 30th, which, and oh, so you know where it gets a little bit hard in April is that the week of the 18th through the 22nd is school vacation week. So then I'm inclined to say the weekend of the ninth, but that's super early. So since we have an event on the seventh, do we want to make an acknowledgement and work on it for next year where we can plan it out better? I agree with that plan. That might be a better plan. I agree. I really do like I do like the food and dance though. Like I think this, <laughs> no for real. Like I think this could no. be a cool event. Like kind of think, like the like how we do the town events where you know people come to the you know parade, like you know, how we do block party or something like where we really can make this a something special. Um so I like it. I just yeah, time wise to, I don't want to rush something, but I do want to execute on that. Yeah. I think that makes sense. Is there anything else later on in the year that kind of has a similar type of tone? Well, I, I've capped us pretty much at May. Okay. Because I, you know, Juneteenth is coming. So that's yeah. a whole other beast. Um, and we are planning in this year, Juneteenth is on a Sunday, which means we're trying to celebrate Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, Sunday will be the Jubilee on the common, and then I can't really disclose too much about Friday and Saturday yet. Okay. Um, so in May is National Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, which I definitely think there should be some kind of event for that. And we can put it in the middle of May so that we have next month to do some heavy planning for it. Yeah, I agree with that. So I got a question, because is it May Mental Health Awareness Month too? 
Um, listen, uh, uh, there is Haitian Heritage Month, Indian Heritage Month, Jewish American Heritage Month, Mental Health Month, South Asian Heritage Month, Personal History Awareness Month, Speech and Hearing Awareness, so, and so, Older Americans. So, so can we, you, you want to try to collaborate and do something around mental health and how it affects people of color. You get what I'm trying to get at? And like, hey, let's do like an awareness of flyers or some sort of educational thing around mental health in these communities. We could, let's see if they have a theme. It says it's their theme, this advancing leaders through collaboration. Advancing leaders in the federal and DC governments Let's see what this one says. Advancing leaders through collaboration. That's what their theme is. I mean, Erica, we could just try, if, if we're gonna do one at the beginning of the month, we can do one towards the mental health awareness towards the end of the month. And that might be even better because by then ADMA and YSET will be fully functioning and up and running. Does that work? One that's seems fine. like I was just trying to throw out like an idea. That's all. No, I appreciate that. And it was a good idea. But so one seems a little more uh well, if we're using their theme, then I I don't know. What do you guys want to do? Because it's really not up to me. My bad. I think we should definitely acknowledge mental health and then to your point if Wyset is going to be kind of running their focus is for people of color right youth of color so that kind of does tie in with what Erica was saying so maybe we just highlight what they're the work they're doing or plan an event possibly with them maybe mm -hmm. it's ADMA African Diaspora Mental Health Association. Oh. YSA is the case management, but they work hand in hand. So yeah, it doesn't really, um, there's a lot of things to acknowledge here. Um, and we can just take two and have events towards two or we can just merge them into one. Everybody needs mental health, so. I do kind of like the idea of merging them into one. I lean towards that. And highlighting the need for mental health of BIPOC people. How do others feel? I don't know if you can see my thumbs up, but I give a thumbs up to that. And so are we just going to acknowledge the other ones, which is Haitian Heritage Month, Indian Heritage Month, Jewish American Heritage Month, South Asian Heritage Month, Personal History Awareness, Speech and Hearing, Hearing and Older Americans Month. I wonder if Older Americans, if the senior services will do something. And if there's one a way we hope. can support. Hmm? I said one would hope. Yeah, and maybe, you know, our, you know, membership, uh, commissioner's attendance would, you know, suffice as is participating. Okay, 
So um, who wants to help me with the collaboration of, uh, that's, I think that's Erica. That was her vision, right? Did she leave? Cause she's not unmuting. No, oh, she's what, there. What am I, like, what am I doing? You and I are gonna plan the event for National Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month and Mental Health Month. Okay, and that's in May, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. So I think we should, we'll talk first and then we'll kind of solidify a date when maybe everyone can attend. Sounds like a plan. See yeah. And again, I'm thinking food, so I don't know. Dude, I'm always on food. I'm, I'm thinking food uh, needs to be part of it. So we will... And May, hopefully, it'll be nice enough we can eat outside. We don't have another version of. Not Omicron, but. Uh, and so just to throw out there for June. So there's a World Day for Cultural Diversity for Dialogue and Development. I mean, that could serve, oh, that's on the 21st though, that's not. Oh, that's in May. International Day of Biological Diversity. So June is Pride Month, which the town council will do a flag raising proclamation, most likely on June 1st. And the June 12th is Loving Day, National Indigenous Peoples Day is in June, French American Heritage Month. We so can't hear you, Liz. I said, that's a lot of things to acknowledge all at the same time. And for us to be a small committee, oh, Lord. <laughs> well, right. It is. But I think I mean, I kind of feel like, so when I, when I, when I did, the, the goal is to have this go on the town community website, which so anybody who's linked to it will get notified, and then our Facebook. So our Facebook amount of people are more geared to human rights in general, because that's something that they're, they're into. But when it goes on the community calendar, even if it's not an event, that is going out to a whole different population, not completely different population, but a wider, broader population of folks. And so there's some, um, you know, honestly, these things could be as easy as, so the Jewish American Heritage Month and just a paragraph about what that means and, and what that is. So you can do that by speaking with someone from the JCA perhaps, or if you know, you know someone who's Jewish American or you could just use Wikipedia, right? So we can find those things and it doesn't have to be long, just needs to be enough so that people understand what it is. Um, and for the sake of April, I can take on the community service month and uh, Earth Month is already kind of taken care of, but we can still put something out on Facebook. So Arab American Heritage Month, I can do and, diver and celebrate diversity. That one sounds really fun too. So then I have Cedric for 4-7 and Philip for 420, right? So let's divvy up May. That makes sense, right? And that gives everybody a little bit of time. 
who wants to take, so the National Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month and Mental Health Month, Eric and I will do, who wants to take, who would like to create a post for a Haitian Heritage Month? That you could grab pictures of food. I mean, there's all kinds of things. Like if you Google how the Haitian community celebrates their Heritage Month, then you could just grab photos of, you know, if they use food and dance. Is that you, Cedric? Or are you saying yes? <laughs> yes. No, I thought you said Asian. I didn't hear, so I thought I was like, well, aren't you doing that? But you're saying Haitian? Haitian. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> All right, that's what I'd like to hear. Um, Indian Heritage Month. I love Indian food. I don't like. So um, somebody might would like to connect with um, Counselor Shalini Balmlin to see if they are going to host an event. Last year in the fall, it was a little late, but they did a um, Pakistani and an Indian, uh, what was it? Independence Day celebration out in town. And the feedback that we got from the Pakistani and, and Indian communities was that they were really excited to have something from their heritage and culture celebrated at the town level. I could take on Indian Heritage Month. Jewish American Heritage Month. Can we nominate members that aren't here? I can do it too. <laughs> if it's just Sid. If it's not post. <laughs> Cedric. All right. Um, yeah, and I think, you know, with Eric and I doing the two combined, they still need to be acknowledged in a post separately so Eric and I can work on that. Um, South Asian Heritage Month. Was that you, Liz? Yeah. Listen, I'm not a Facebook type of person. I'm more hands-on type of person. So if we're doing stuff like um, in person, then I like to help out with those types of things. When it's just writing letters and putting stuff on Facebook or putting it on a web page, that's not me. Well, you don't have to do that. I do that. What? You just have to create it exactly and then i do that. it huh i'm not okay. good at that i have to know you have to know your limitations of what you're good at <laughs> so I'm liz at i'm putting you up here with um erica and myself for well, what for creating an event for national asian american pacific islander heritage month and mental health awareness month okay no problem okay all right so that looks like it might be sid I don't have a full understanding personal history awareness month. Speeching hearing hearing awareness month and older Americans month. So I could do personal history awareness month. I imagine that has to do with something like ancestry type of stuff, right? I'll look it up. I, I was kind of thinking about just knowing your own personal self and your history of yourself. So I thought that was kind of a neat one too. Um, speech and hear, hearing awareness month. Uh, that's going to Sid. And older Americans month. 
I, I can just do that one to make it easier. Because I'm just going to work with the senior center there. All right. So whatever posts, the, you know, um, Cedric, you have one for April 7th. So if you can get it to me, you know, by the 5th or 6th, so I can post it because I can pre-post. Um, otherwise, I'm going to say they probably, the ones that are the full month length, uh, I guess I would post it like. So that's my question is, am I giving this? I mean, I'll give it to you at the beginning of the month because they're both May. So I'll definitely give it to you before then. My question is, are you wanting to post it? I mean, I get I, I just answered it myself, but I'll give it to you the beginning of the month. So you can yeah. post it whenever you wanna what date you wanna post it on. Yep. So I'm gonna wanna post everything on the first, right? And so the way that it's gonna look on the town website one is it's just gonna be like a, a cultural heritage. And then when you click on it, it'll have snippets of all the different months stuff in it. Um, and I'll leave that up for the entire month. Right. Um, the Facebook one, I think what ends, will end up happening is I think I'll have to post it like the first and then I'll try for the middle and then I'll try for the end of the month, but I'll post each thing individually, maybe. For the Jewish, you said the Jewish month or face, just Facebook, you said. So all three. You're going to post individually for on Facebook? Well, so everything for the month of May, like I was just using May as an example, I'll post those separately on Facebook at different times throughout the month, I think, right? Um, and I don't know if I can pre post on Facebook. Does anybody know that? You can. You can? Well, yep. that'll be helpful too. So once I have them, I can just set it for different dates consistently so that they just repost throughout the month. Sound good? Yeah. I'll go back to June and see if there's anything else like big that I'm missing. I saw somewhere that said World Refugee Day. I think it was June 20th. I don't have that one. I do have Race Unity Day. Yeah, Race oh, Unity yeah. Day. Um, which there is a group of folks, but that's um, Race Amity Day. Um, and what did you say the 20th was? I'll put that in my calendar. World Refugee Day. Yeah, and I think honestly right now we have our we got to just test out how April and May goes before we get too far <laughs> farther. And then during the May uh, meeting, we can talk about the summer months. Mm -hmm. If that works for folks. Okay. Whew. What's next on the agenda? Next on the agenda. So I gotta pull it up again. We have a AHTF update. That's the Amherst Housing Affordable Trust. Oh. And Sid's not here to give that update, and I don't oh. have one. All right, then. Then we have the AHRA. DEI and CRESS update. Yep. So AHRA is the African Heritage Reparations Assembly, and they are working on a Black census. And um, they are also going to, I think they would like to do a town wide survey for community engagement to kind of gauge where people in the community feel about reparations or what they know about reparations. And then they will sent it out more specifically to the African-American community of Amherst, a separate one afterwards. 
Um, so that's pretty exciting. Diversity, equity, inclusion. I think they're getting ready to, to interview the director for DEI. So that's exciting. And the CREST director, for Community Responders for Equity, Safety and Service, will start on Monday. And I will try to see if he can come to our May meeting just to introduce himself and, you know, you guys can be acquainted with him. You know, those of you who are in school and Liz, this is, um, you know, being connected with Cress and YSET and ADMA are, are really good for the families that you know that are in need. And so there's a referral program, which I'll send out the referral that you can refer, refer people to either three of those resources if you feel need and Philip, right? And so I know that the Crest director is gonna go down to the ASC too, so. Good. I think four we can skip because we just kind of, I, I have them twice. Yeah. <laughs> then it says other topics. Anybody else wanna bring anything up? Yes. When are we gonna start meeting in person? I mean, I think, we have no masks in school, so I don't understand why it is that we still have to be in the stupid screen. <laughs> yes, I think this is this is how we're rolling till April or June. I can't remember. I think it's April, and then it can be descended. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is that next. So I think April, um, and then maybe we can have our retreat. So we need to be able to have our retreat at a time where we can be together. And if we can't be together in a meeting, I guess we can't have a retreat. That makes no sense. Because well, why is it that they lifted a mandate for schools, but they don't lift a mandate for four or five people to come into a meeting? Okay, seven, but you know. Well, so there's a couple of things about the, the meeting. That is a different order from the governor that allowed folks to do it this, to have um, meetings. So. I will talk to Paul and see if we can meet in person now that the mask mandate and everything has been lifted a bit because I know council half half of them meet in person and half of them do the Zoom. They do a hybrid meeting. I don't know that we could. The benefit for this is we've had a lot more people attend different meetings than we did when they were in person. Um, so there's pros and cons to meeting online versus in person and the hybrid would be the best way to go. But I know that that's a little bit unrealistic for the manpower that it requires for all of the board and committees. And there's only one room structured and set up to be able to do that. And that's the town room. And as we're having this meeting, the planning department has a meeting or the zoning board of appeals has one of them have a meeting, you know? And so there's just consistent meetings on what, you know, every day of the week. So it's hard to get them all to be able to do hybrid. So I will check in with Paul and I will send that in the email tomorrow. Okay, second. <clears throat> New members, aren't we down to? Yes. Including a student? So Ben said, sent an email and said that he was going to follow back up with the same individuals that he had sent something out to. Um, I think he reached out to Talib and another individual. Okay. I would say maybe you guys, Erica or Liz knows like another adult that's connected with the student population a little more that could suggest a name or two. In-person meetings. And there was something else I needed to follow up on. You want me to shoot them like admin and email regarding, hey, do you have any students that you would want to see in a role at the Human Rights Commission with the Human Rights Commission? Yeah, that'll be good. Um, so next month also too, I'm gonna do a report on complaints. <laughs> And so we've had a couple that have come in for various different things. None of them turn out to actually end up 
being human, a lot of them turn out to be more like, I didn't like that rule, right? But um, I will give a full listing and report on the human rights complaints next month. I didn't add it. I unfortunately did not add it to this agenda. And I think it's too big to talk about under items not discussed. So. Okay. All right, any, any other items? No, and then it looks like we are going to adjourn at 748. I make a motion we adjourn today's meeting at 748 PM. I'll second that. That's the one thing you don't have to make a motion for. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do it anyways. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a great feeling, right? Sometimes I be at non town meetings, like I, my hand is raised so high to make any motion or to second it because I never get to do that. There's like power in that, right? I second. Um, okay, guys, that's, that's about it on my end. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, have a good night.